Hi the hi campers and welcome to your tarot forecast for the week 8 to the 14th of August 2022. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome my lovely Scorpio campers of Gypsy Heart Tower with me Govinda Dean. Hope you're doing well. This is a reading for anyone who is a Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Rising. I recommend that you pay attention to all three of these signs in your chart as we are beautiful cocktail of all three rather than just one element and this will help you gain a more holistic view of your current situation so make sure you catch all the videos relevant to your signs let's bless our reading today so may the wisdom and love of my higher self and my spirit guides be revealed in this reading and may such guidance show what is best and what is true okay let's start with messages from spirit and divine to align with your higher chakras of the throat third eye and crown known as the Vishuddha the Ajna and the Sahasrara uh, chakras in order to be able to connect with your truth and share it with others connect with your intuition and have an objective view of the world transcending self-limiting beliefs and to help connect with your spirituality and higher consciousness so what messages from spirit today the hierophant okay so faith is important to you this week knowledge is important to you this week and maybe guidance is also important to you this week so it seems that whatever's going on for you this week Scorpios you might want to go to someone who is a guide a spiritual guide or leader in your life someone who you trust who gives great messages who is able to help you on your journey help you with some learning that you might need on a spiritual level or more meaningful level what's going on in your life how can i do this maybe we need some more traditional approach to what's happening this in in this week um important decisions are probably lining up uh you know this is like the card before the lovers so lovers which will represent important life decisions that's not happening this week but we're kind of preparing for it so with the Hierophant, you're kind of preparing for those big life choices. So maybe, like I said, get some guidance, get some advice ahead of time. So when you need to make that big life-changing decision, you know what's what and what's going on. So if you are enjoying this video and my content, then please remember to give me a thumbs up and like this video. This helps me and YouTube know that I am worth watching. And then more people like you can find me and enjoy my messages. You can also subscribe if you want to find me again. And also it lets me know that you're dedicated and you're willing to stick around and know more about me. And you can also ring the bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload any new content like this or come on a live. And please share your um, this video with any of your social media friends and buddies, anyone who might appreciate my messages. Let's now have a look at your root chakra or muladhara messages, looking at your fundamental requirements this week, talking about your safety and security and your stability. What do we need to survive through the week, really? What messages are we getting coming through? We're getting the four of pentacles. So really stability in holding things together, stability in recognizing what we've got. It may not be great. It may not be flamboyant it may be not the levels of finance the level of health the level of um security wealth the type of home is not completely happy but at the same time to feel secure and safe and stable is not a time to take risks it's not a time to make any changes in our life we just want to keep things as they are this week so not really make any changes because like i said Changes are po <laughs> Big important life changes are probably happening soon, but not this week. So this week is to get advice and guidance, proper financial advice on how to save better, how to keep things together. And if you want to um get a new house not the time to achieve that this week it's a time to just collect and keep things as they are for now but get advice this is a week of collecting gathering information advice resources know what to do and how to do it um because it's not happening this week 
but that will come up later. So we need to do some prep work. So not really making any changes to our lifestyle, the way we're eating or what we're doing. Just keep things pretty much as they are will give you that safety and security. Now let's look at your, sac your sacral chakra um, or Svadhisthana messages, looking at your relationships with yourself and others and the wider community, you know, neighbors, colleagues, friends, and also your passion, creativity, and desires and pleasure. How do you feel this week? How are you feeling this week is the key um, buzzword. <laughs> we might be feeling overworked. We might be feeling a bit tired um, of doing the same thing again and again. So kind of contradictory because we're saying keep things as they are. But this week you're tired of doing the same thing. You're kind of going through the same motions again and again. This could be about work, couldn't it? It's coming up with pentacles a lot. There's a lot of work energy coming through. But you're tired while you're reluctant to change the work situation because it's a secure job. At the same time, you are pretty bored with the same old, same old and not getting any progress done. So you can feel quite stuck and stagnant with what you're doing, which is why, again, Hierophant, get advice, spiritual leader, a tarot reader like myself, who can advise you on maybe options and choices that are open to you. This is a week to really get, you know, or even to speak to your boss or speak to a friend or someone who understands your situation and say, look, I feel a bit, I need, I, you feel like you might want some development. You might want to get your teeth into something or you might want to get some training. This would represent training. So maybe speak to your boss and say, look, I feel a bit stuck and stagnant with things. Can I get some training? Is there a chance of another position, an improvement? Because you are a hard worker and you feel that you've been working hard and you're passionate about what you're doing. That's why you keep going. You're motivated to keep going. But it's wearing a bit, it feels like it might be wearing a bit thin of late. So, and, what, and even if you're not working, whatever you've been doing might be feeling a bit mundane, a bit run of the mill, nothing much is changing, a bit boring. How can we shake things up a bit? How, although we might not talking about changing anything, because that's not really going to give us stability. We need to keep doing the same things, but how can we change how we feel? It's not about changing what we're doing, it's changing how we are feeling. So maybe our emotional connection with what we're doing, although it's a bit repetitive, perhaps a bit mundane, a bit boring. We do want to see it through, though. We are dedicated to see it through. So we're not giving up. But really, it's about how can we excite it more, how we can give ourselves more excitement. Perhaps it's playing some music while you do the work. So it kind of makes it feel better. I know I have my background music while I'm reading. It helps me keep a rhythm going. So not that I ever find my work boring. It's very varied. But... You know what I mean? If you're feeling like you're losing a bit of interest, how can we change? Because we can change what we're doing. You know, we can change how we're doing things. When it feels a bit mundane, it feels a bit every day the same thing, the same thing. How, what element can we shake up that isn't making too much of a change? You want to keep things as they are. A stable job is a good one. Or stable life at the minute. is Life is stable. That's good. But we, we could try and maybe... Change, make some minor changes which don't affect how we feel stability wise but affects our emotional um, energy uh, this week for, for the better um, let's uh, do a proper shuffle and now let's uh, look at your solar plexus or manipura messages looking at your personal power, self esteem and transformation so your confidence and willpower your success and the momentum of what you do. What are we doing this week, my loves? <laughs> we are taking action. Yeah, we are tired of reading books, of learning how to do things. We may, we are I'm getting this energy that we just want to get out and do, but because it's the page, it is still too early. So hold your horses. I know my loves are uh, rein it in. You just want to get out and do things and we might need to learn a bit more. It's like an apprenticeship cards, these two together. We still have some on the job learning to do if it's a career thing. Even if it is what we are doing for a hobby, we may still have to study a bit more and be a bit careful and more meticulous about what we're doing because 
if we run too fast with it, if we want to get to the end goal too quickly, without thinking too much, we're going to make mistakes. And we want to keep it together. Keep it together, get some advice, get some proper guidance, it will help. Let's have a look finally at your uh, heart chakra or anahata messages, looking at how you can promote love, serenity, balance. That that flew out, so I'm taking that. Um, and healing in your relationships, and we get the chariot. So the chariot is saying, again, keep things as they are. Keeping things on track doesn't mean we're stagnant. We can still be moving forward on our path, on our journey in life, but we're not changing direction. We're not making massive changes. This is a major card. This would be massive changes. All we're doing is embodying a bit more. Let's apply more common sense to a situation. Let's spice things up in the routine. The routine may be feeling a bit boring. Let's spice things up in the routine. But it's actually what we've got we need to keep hold of will provide us with that stability. Get advice and guidance on how to keep things together and keeping things on track is a skill we don't constantly have to be turning left or turning right sometimes we just have to steer straight on and it looks like we are going towards a good place we can improve our work financial situation but we need to stay on track i'm not getting from this energy that we need to change or shift direction we just need to keep going it is long energy so things will improve over the next few months for you this is the start of improving things. It's not going to happen quickly. It's going to take time. It's going to take months to sort out. So we just need to be confident and patient to steer in a straight line forward. Keep things on track. And that can take a lot of energy. I hope this reading has resonated with you. And I hope you can come back to this reading uh, as the week progresses if you need any reminders. If you like a personal reading with me, then you can scan the QR code on screen using the camera on your phone or click the link in the description below and it'll take you to my website, givindadeen.com, where you can book a reading with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share this video with anyone who you feel could benefit from my messages. Let's share the love, people. You can also watch more videos like this by clicking the links at the end of this video. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the good weather that we're having and I'll see you all again on the next video. Love and light, peace and joy to you all and I'll see you all very soon.